Hey y'all, welcome to the Blade Lab. I'm doing this sort of off the cuff because I saw that this uh, Spyderco Tenacious uh, was on sale. I guess it's one of these uh, wacky uh, Black Friday deals. Um, and when I say this one, I mean this one in particular, as in it is the uh, Spyderco Tenacious in the CPM M4 steel. Um, this is, uh, I think I've mentioned it in other videos, but this is definitely one of my favorite uh, sort of work knives, sort of just uh, getting stuff done knives, um, as opposed to kind of like art knives, fancy knives, that sort of thing. Um, it is presently on sale for, I believe, $114 uh, at some retailers. Um, I don't have any affiliation uh, period <laughs> but I, I saw that they uh, pr have that price at uh, Knife Center for one and they probably have it at <clears throat> Blade HQ and some others so yeah let's let's get into why I think this is such a, a phenomenal deal for a uh, high quality user knife uh, first of all uh, there is the steel uh, obviously M4 is a uh, it's a tool steel it's not going to be what you want if you're looking for something that's uh, super corrosion resistant because it is a tool steel. It is not uh, technically stainless. It's, uh, you know, it's not going to just sort of rust when you're just looking at it. You know, as long as you, if it gets wet, it's not going to fall apart on you. You just need to make sure you dry it off before you uh, put it to bed and you'll be fine. It will uh, patina if you don't keep it clean. I tend to, you know, pretty religious about sort of wiping my blades off after I use them so not much patina on this guy even though I've had him for a couple months probably maybe three or four months um, it has uh, this model has the brown g10 scales it has uh, stainless liners it is a liner lock it has uh, it is on washers it has uh, excellent uh, lock bar access uh, this one has the lockup, I would say, is probably about 70%. Um, I have a uh, Lynch clip on this, uh, which I like a lot. It's nice and uh, deep carry. Uh, it's shorter than the Spyderco clip that comes with it, so I would recommend that as an upgrade if you're going to go for it. Um, the Spyderco, Spyderco clip, uh, like all of them, works just fine. So uh, if you don't want to spend extra, then you don't have to. Uh, the action on this is, I think it's very nice. You know, it's a very, <laughs> every time, it's a very uh, positive action. It is definitely not um, drop shut. You can probably shake it shut if you, you know, put some effort into it. But it's an easy one-hand operation. Um, so... Yeah, at 114 with the uh, M4 steel, uh, it's just a, it's just a great deal. I have two of these uh, almost identical knives, and the blades both measured at uh, within a couple tenths of uh, 66 HRC, which is uh, a great number uh, and very good for uh, for M4. So it's going to uh, take an edge very sharp edge it's going to hold it for a long time and if you want to put a low edge angle on it um, it's going to uh, hold up well to that and that brings me to the next point why i think the tenacious is a better work knife than some of the more popular uh, more expensive frankly uh, spyderco knives that uh, we're all familiar with probably uh, like this Spyderco uh, PM2, PM3, Manix2, um, etc. The reason I think so when you get a good blade steel on it, which until recently you could not, but uh, when you have a good blade steel on it, it's I think a better uh, cutting knife because uh, of the geometry. It's uh, we all know or should know that uh, geometry cuts so particularly if you're going through um, sort of dense material um, like cardboard the uh, 
the, the overall thickness of the, uh, of the uh, blade stock is going to be very important. In this case, uh, the Tenacious has blade stock of uh, 0.12 inches, which isn't super thin, but it's pretty, it's pretty thin. It's on the thinner side of average, I would say. And, uh, for example, I believe it's thinner than, this is a uh, PM2, so it's going to be a bit thinner than the PM2. Um, like most Spydercos, they have a, a good um, distal taper, so it does get thinner as you move farther down the blade. We'll get more into the comparison there in a minute. Um, so the other factor in terms of uh, another factor in terms of uh, cutting ability is thickness uh, behind the edge. So obviously, there's going to be a, absolute sharpness is going to be one thing. And the other thing is going to be how thick is it behind the edge. Um, so that is a, a really nice thing about the uh, this particular Tenacious. I don't have experience with other ones, so I can't say uh, how they compare. But in this case, um, so this knife came at, um, like, like I said, I have two of them. One of them, uh, the factory angle was 18 degrees per side. Uh, the other one was closer to 15 degrees per side. Um, and at those relatively uh, acute angles for factory edges, they were both uh, ten thousandths of an inch or less behind the edge, and that's going all the way from the uh, from the heel of the blade to the tip of the blade, and that is just an excellent number for uh, for a factory uh, you know production type knife. It's something you'll see in uh, kind of more expensive custom knives, but you don't often see um, that quality of a grind in, the, in production knives, and that's including Spyderco, who I, you know, I think the world of, but uh, for instance, so let's just do a, a quick side-by-side. -side. So I have, I've probably sharpened this knife now three times, maybe four times, and this is a 15 degree edge bevel on here. And because the grind, it's ground so thin, it's the, uh, the edge bevel is still pretty narrow. You know, it's not a uh, ridic. Um, this is my, uh, this is a uh, PM2 in S90V that I have probably also sharpened two or three times and is also at 15 degrees per side. But you can see how much wider uh, the edge bevel is. Hopefully we don't have too much glare to see. See the difference? Um, that difference in thickness is a big deal when you're cutting through um, thick material, you know, thick, stiff materials like cardboard or, you know, wood, or cork, styrofoam, any, anything like that. Um, that um, difference in thickness behind the edge is really going to make the, the uh, tenacious cut better, just straight up. Um, so that is... Uh, really a, a great feature of this knife and at this price again is just I don't know it's I think it's amazing can't recommend it enough honestly there are other things that I really like about the uh, tenacious too uh, one of them is like how compact it is compared to some of the other spider knives so let's just lay it lay it out like this and compare it to the again the uh, PM2 that we were just looking at I also have a uh, Manix 2 here. Uh, this is wearing original gold scales. But you can see that they, the uh, Tenacious is clearly the um, sort of the most compact. It's the shortest lengthwise and also probably might be about the same in terms of the height as the PM2. Uh, I think def yeah, definitely uh, a little narrower than the uh, Mannix, but check this out. So now that we open them up, bearing in mind that the Tenacious was the most compact closed, let's look at, look at the amount of cutting edge you get compared to these other knives. So compared to, well, let's do it the other way. <laughs> So compared to the PM2, oh crap, hold on. I don't know why my light just crapped out on me. 
Be right back. Told you this was uh, off the cuff, didn't I? So this is the kind of thing that happens. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So you have, uh, even though the, uh, the Tenacious is a fair bit more compact in the pocket, you get a good half inch, at least, more cutting edge. And I believe the same is true of the Manix. Yeah. Um, so significantly more cutting edge with the Manix. Now, one thing I like about uh, these Spydercos is that you have this forward finger choil, so you can get like right up behind the edge. And obviously you have, with the PM2, I have uh, sort of large to average size hands. Uh, with the PM2, you have more than enough uh, handle length, no matter where you want to grip it. And the same is true of the Manix. And again, you can get right up behind the blade, or you can sort of come down here. Um, with these knives, I'm always going to be up here, just because I like to be uh, closer to the, to the edge for more control. The, uh, the reason this, uh, this knife is more compact with more blade is that it doesn't have that big choil in the blade. So does that mean that you can't get right up behind the blade? Um, no, you can't. I mean, just because the handle comes right up here, so you can still get quite close to the heel of the blade. You'll still have very good control, and you're not losing, you know, a good half inch or more of blade to a uh, to a choil. Now you do have uh, nice jimping up here, uh, so when you're going to hold it this way, you can rest your thumb here. You'll have excellent control that way. You can uh, sort of come up on it like that if you want to sort of do some more detail cutting. It's not going to be the best uh, for detail cutting because it does have a, a fair amount of uh, belly. But the tip is still relatively low. You know, it probably comes up to maybe the top of this uh, hole for the uh, tip up carry. Um, so it's still low enough to where you, you're going to be able to uh, do some cutting on, uh, on stuff. Let me find something I can cut on without... Uh, so yeah, you'll be you'll again you'll be able to uh, cut stuff out no problem, and because it has that belly, it's going to be fantastic for uh, chopping anything on a board. If you have to do any food prep, you're going to be cutting tubing or uh, rope on a on a board. It's going to be great for that, and it has uh, more than enough flat to uh, to do uh, sort of cutting. Uh, bulk stuff like cardboard or wood you know if you need to uh, do some feather sticking that kind of thing it's also going to be uh, excellent for that so i am going to uh, be uncharacteris uncharacteristically uh, brief and uh, sort of wrap it up with that i guess i could point out that it of course it does have a lanyard hole uh, it does have uh, these offsets uh, you know sandwich construction Full steel liners, I think I already mentioned. Um, yeah, so that is all I'm going to say. This is going to get my highest recommendation for uh, value for your money if you're, again, looking for a, a real sort of daily user. Um, I've just recently put a, put a new edge on this, so it's going to be uh, exceptionally... Notice I'm not shaving, I'm just sort of tree topping the hairs on the top of my hand. So it will uh, definitely take a very keen edge and it will hold it for a long time. So until next time, this is uh, the Blade Lab. Uh, if you enjoyed, please uh, click the thumbs up button below. Uh, if you like this content, please subscribe. There is no charge. And y'all have a good one. Take care.